In this video, we'll look at search filters and how to use them effectively. In another video, we talk about fields in a record and how we can use search fields to have greater control over where in the records we are searching. Search filters, or search limiters, can be used to refine search results based on limits placed on these particular fields. The search filters available to you will vary between databases, but some of the most common are publication date, language, source type, and scholarly or peer-reviewed. The publication date filter is helpful when you're interested in research published within a particular time frame. It's most often used to limit results to more recently published work for topics for which currency is important. Depending on the database and the subject area, you might find a significant amount of research published in languages other than English. The language limiter can filter out results that aren't written in the language or languages you select. Many search tools index a range of source types, such as journal articles, magazine articles, books, theses, and dissertations. A source type filter can be used to limit your results to only those kinds of sources that you're looking for. Some search tools provide a filter to remove non-scholarly items from the results list. Such filters can certainly be handy, but they should not be trusted implicitly to have the database return solely scholarly or peer-reviewed sources. They can make mistakes, and you should always carefully evaluate the information you use. Subject-specific databases can offer a wide range of additional search limiters. You might find, for instance, filters that limit results based on research methodology, historical period, study population, age, and sex, country, or composer. Always have a look at the filters that are available to you, as they can save you a lot of time. A word of caution. Many search tools have a full text filter, limiting results to those items that are available in full text. We usually advise against using those filters because often the results they exclude are readily available in another library database and find full text links will lead you to them. Even if we don't have the full text in our collection, we can usually get it for you via interlibrary loan, provided you have some time. The full text limiter often filters out good relevant sources that are readily available to you, so it's best not to use it. We encourage you to apply search filters after you've run the search, as taking this approach will allow you to see how many results your search is returning before you start to narrow them further. If you aren't retrieving many results to begin with, you may not need to use a filter.